All right, good afternoon, everyone. As everyone kind of makes their way in, I want to start off by saying welcome um, to the Oklahoma Virtual College Fair and thank you for joining us this evening. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Feel free to do one specifically to an institution that you've heard about or more generally and we can have all of our panelists answer them. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. As a reminder, this is just one of many different sessions that's happening this evening, so certainly be sure to sign up for additional sessions. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website where you initially registered. I'd now like to turn it over to our presenters and we'll get started with the University of Oklahoma. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, hello. My name is Dorian Billups. I'm the Director for Diversity and Enrichment Programs at OU. Um, I'm extremely excited to be here with you all today. Um, uh, thank you so much for uh, having us, and I'm, I'm really excited and looking forward to this opportunity to share a little bit about the University of Oklahoma with you all today. If you have your phones with you, if, you are, if you're able to, you can just take a quick picture of the QR code here to make sure that you're signed up on our mailing list and you're getting all the most up-to-date information from the University of Oklahoma. Uh, I'll put this up at the end of the presentation as well if you're not able to get to it now, but I want to make sure I get to the presentation. All right, so just as a quick update, there are three ways to apply to the University of Oklahoma as a freshman. Um, you can see here we have the OU application, um, common application or the coalition application to apply to OU, you just need to go to apply.ou.edu. Um, very, very simple. Um, and then from there, you can again, choose whichever way you want to apply. You can actually access a common application or the coalition application through our website. So good way to go. OU application, if you know you're just going to apply to OU, but the other ways, if you know you're going to apply to multiple schools at the same time. Um, we're doing a holistic review process still at the University of Oklahoma. And so that means that Although we do highly value your, uh, your test grades, um, your, your test scores, your rigor, um, your GPA, those sort of things, um, just know that we are also looking at things such as your extracurricular involvement, your leadership, your community service. You know, those sort of pieces are extremely important to us um, as a prospective student. Um, and then this little sliver here, this blue part here is about your essay. We really want to get to know you. Um, and let's talk about something that, that's really meaningful to you. Um, and so that's an important part. We, we do have a mandatory essay, um, and then we have um, additional um, optional essays that you are able to um, write in there for scholarship opportunities for us. And then if you want to give us letters of recommendation, we take up to three. They're not mandatory, okay? Um, not mandatory. Now, many people ask what are our minimum ACT, GPA, those sort of things. We actually don't have minimum scores. That's why the holistic piece is really important um, for us. All right. All right. So we have over 170 degree options. Hopefully many of you have some sort of idea of what it is that you want to do, but it's perfectly okay if you do not know what you want to do. You can see at the bottom, um, ou.mymajors.com is a great way to be matched with an OU major based on your interests. So you can fill that out. Um, and that's a really great way to kind of know what you've got, um, what you're interested, what you might be interested in, what you might be talented in. Think, and you may find that there's majors out there that you don't know a whole lot about. All right. This year, just as an update, we are test optional. We know that it has been extraordinarily difficult to take the ACT and SAT. So uh, at OU, we are not requiring that you have a, um, a test score to apply and be admitted. Okay. Now at the bottom, you can know that there's still an opportunity to maximize scholarship opportunities through having a test score. Um, but certainly we can talk about that more in the, in, the, uh, in the future. But certainly if you want to apply now without having that test score, and maybe you don't love your test score, um, you can just opt to not use your test score, all right? Application's open, FAFSA's open. You've been here this 100 times, so I'm gonna jump right over it. If you're here today, I wanna see that November 1, all right, application deadline hit, all right? If you're here today, my expectation, if you're interested in the University of Oklahoma, is that you're able to apply before November 1, okay? Um, you can always take the ACT. Um, you can always take the ACT again in the future. 
Um, so I just want to make sure that you know that um, that is an opportunity uh, for you to go on ahead and apply now. You can take the ACT through April 30th, and we'll go on ahead and take that score, okay? Final scholarship deadline, December 15th, all right? That means that we want you to apply by December 15th with the additional essays, uh, scholarship essays, which I talked about a little bit earlier. Um, and with those options, you can be considered for some of our special scholarships at OU. All right. We have over 550 student organizations, um, ranging from professional, uh, professionally focused organizations, culturally based organizations, um, things where just people are goofy, goofing off and having a lot of fun um, and, and everything in between. Um, whatever you're interested in, um, I, I wholeheartedly believe that you're going to find a group of students that are going to be similarly linked to you. We have 22,000 undergrads at the University of Oklahoma, um, and certainly you will find um, a place for you. Um, now, if you are able to connect with us, um, similar to what's going on here right now, you can actually find us through some virtual resources, and we'd love for you um, to get connected to us. That You can see a virtual campus tour, you can connect with your admissions counselor, um, different faculty or staff members on campus. You can um, go to many of the different colleges have academic sessions that they're, that they're hosting online. Um, you can be with financial aid um, and our money coaches online. So we're giving a lot of opportunities for you to uh, really get to know us um, and how your journey could really work through the University of Oklahoma. All right, make sure that you are following us on go to OU on Instagram and Twitter and parents on here, Facebook. And uh, we'd absolutely love to have you uh, kind of see our story, have our students, you know, you'll see our takeovers that our students do and just talk about what they got going on at the University of Oklahoma. Um, it's an incredible place, man. And um, I hope that you all are able to come through and see what we've got going on there. And then I also wanna give you guys another opportunity uh, here to uh, fill out this uh, QR code. All right. One of the things that um, I wanted to add on here before, while, while you guys are on here is, you know, one of the special things um, about higher education and one of the reasons why um, so many of us here are part of our education is that, is that every day looks different in higher education. And we see, we get to interact with so many different people. And at OU, we have students from, you know, all 50 states, you know, over 125 countries across the world. And, everyone has such wonderful different perspectives, right? They're coming from, you know, large schools, right? In, metro, in metropolitan areas coming from really small towns in Oklahoma, right? We have people from boarding schools and private schools and, um, and just everything in between and just they bring so many different ideologies. And at OU, it's a safe place to learn. It's a safe place to grow and just interact with people that, that bring so many different perspectives. And so I'm really, really thankful for you all um, for being here. And uh, that is us. So if you have any questions or concerns, um, please be sure to put them in the Q&A. Uh, we'll be happy to get to your questions. But with that, I will yield the floor. Thank you all. Great, thank you so much. And up next, we have Langston University. Hello, everyone. I'm Kyle Gregory. I'm a proud 2009 graduate of Langston University. I studied English before I went to law school. I marched in the band at Langston. I was also a member of the quiz bowl team, and now I'm coach of the quiz bowl team. With introductions out of the way, let me tell you about my favorite school. Ten years before Oklahoma was even a state, Langston University was founded on bake sales, donated land, and shared spaces. So we were underfunded for the first 100 years of our existence. We've gone from that to become one of the leading civil rights colleges, not just in Oklahoma, but in the world. We've helped desegregate, desegregate Oklahoma, led the civil rights, and we've turned that into a powerhouse school in our region. We're third in the state in grammar. So we went from not having buildings, a graduating class of two in our first class, to being third in Oklahoma in grant money. And here's why that's important. If you're trying to go to medical school, we have a partnership with Harvard Medical School. We sent students there four years in a row on internships. We sent them to Yale. We sent them to UC Davis. We sent them to Stanford. We have a partnership with NASA that refunded our entire science research institute. We've done cancer research in that. We've done water quality research to improve the environment in our local area. And this has just created 
a lot of opportunities for our students. So imagine 15 people in the biology program, eight elite internships. If you're willing to do the work, you can go to one of these schools that cost 70,000 a year and study there for the summer on an internship and then come back to Langston and get the HBCU experience. And that's an inclusive experience. Historically, black colleges are there for you regardless of your race. So we have an average GPA of a 3.12. Our average ACT is a 17, but we don't look at it for admissions. Our housing, we have housing starting as a freshman where you can stay in a private room in a four bedroom apartment. Or if you want to save money, we do have the traditional dorm option as well. We have free tutoring in every single class and 11 to one student to teacher ratio, 40, over 40 organizations. And if we don't have the organization you want with 10 people, you can create it. We have a vibrant Greek life. Our homecoming is the best in the state by far. And we have the largest collection of African-American and African artifacts and literature in the state of Oklahoma. We have six programs you can study from in with 42 degrees within those six programs. What some people don't know about us, we're number one of all HBCUs in nursing and there's over 40 BSN programs. We are also 27th nationally and have a 100% job placement rate within that field. Agriculture, we're number one, not in Oklahoma, not amongst the HBCUs. We're number one in the world for small ruminant animal research. So our labs in this field and in our science research institute rival and even surpass some on the graduate level. We, our athletics are some of the best small school athletic programs in Oklahoma. Football has won more games than any other school besides OU over the last five years. Basketball, we can say the same for over the last four years prior to this shortened season we had due to COVID. Women's basketball, we have a WNBA champion of Lane Powell coaching. Softball, 3.5 average GPA in college, incredible. And our volleyball program is on the rise with a coach who, who played professionally in Europe. We also have cheerleading, track and field, and club soccer in our band. We went from 45 members just two and a half years ago to over 220 this past year. And next year, we're looking to be 300 deep. And we did that because of scholarships. So if you play an instrument, you're going to get a generous scholarship. Here's our pricing here. And everybody should be looking at the left side. You can attend Langston for less than 15,000 before your financial aid. So briefly, if you're an Oklahoma Promise student with full Pell Grants, you're qualified for our scholarships too. Typically you get no less than $12,000 in free money if you're in that situation. Our top scholarship is the McCabe Scholarship. If you have a 3.5 and a 22 ACT, it is the most accessible full ride in the state of Oklahoma. Regent Scholarship, you need a 3.3 GPA for and a recommended score of a 20. If you get this with Oklahoma Promise and Pell Grant, most students get paid to go to school in that situation. Thurgood Marshall College Fund, we have internships for any public HBCU with Apple, the NBA, the NHL, and they have 12 scholarships posted right now. And then we are the only school in Oklahoma to offer the USDA 1890. If you're looking to study science, technology, engineering, agriculture, and math, there's a four-year full ride with a 3.0 and a 21 ACT. And then everybody with a 2.5 GPA and up from the state of Oklahoma who is a first-time freshman, it will get a scholarship. 2.5 and up you will get a scholarship. Lastly, our application is absolutely free. We need a 2.4 for guaranteed admission, no minimum ACT score, but we do ask that you take it. And the, here are our contacts. I'm going to finish up ever so briefly by saying we have free tutoring, a free application. And if you email me, I am Kyle Gregory, kyle.gregory at langston.edu. I can get you a scholarship within three days of receiving your transcript. Thank you for your time. You all have a wonderful rest of your session. Thank you so much. If you have any questions about the institutions we've already heard of, certainly feel free to use the Q&A widget. And up next, we have Mid-America Christian University. Hi, everybody. My name is Ashley Gocher, and I am the Director of Admissions at Mid-America Christian University. I'm excited to talk you through all the things that make MACU home. MACU is located just south of downtown Oklahoma City. We have close to 600 on-ground students and another thousand that study online or are in our graduate programs. While we may seem like a smaller school, that gives us the advantage of being an intentional community between faculty, staff, and students. 
Starting the application process is as easy as these four steps. We just need your application, your ACT or SAT scores, transcripts from your high school and your university if you're a transfer student or if you've taken classes concurrently, and lastly, a government issued ID. For first time freshmen to be accepted, you must meet two of three requirements. Be the top 50% of your class, a 2.0 cumulative GPA, and an 18 ACT or 970 SAT. As long as you meet two of these three, you can go through the traditional admissions process. If you do not meet two of the three on this screen, please let myself or your admissions counselor know, and there is an alternative admissions process that we can talk you through. At Matthew, we have eight different schools with over 30 different degree options. Some distinctive degree programs are data analytics, digital marketing, criminal justice, sports management, and biology. We have an 11 to 1 student to faculty ratio, meaning our class sizes are smaller. This is important because our students receive individualized attention, get to know their professors on a more personal level, and have the ability to ask questions freely in class. Matthew is an accredited university through the Higher Learning Commission, or HLC, which is the regional accreditation body. Within our degree programs, we also offer a few areas of specialization. The first is our pre-professional tracks, which helps prepare our students for graduate programs later on. Our pre-engineering, pre-law, pre-medicine, and pre-veterinary tracks are built-in tracks that can be added to many of our degrees. Our, our pre-nursing track allows students to gain their associate's degree while also getting the science prerequisites that they will need for most nursing programs. Matthew has a partnership with Oklahoma City University and their Kramer School of Nursing. Lastly, our four plus one program allows students to earn their bachelor's and master's degrees in five years. This four plus one program is offered with our master's of business administration, master's of leadership, and master's of education in curriculum and instruction. For high school juniors and seniors, we offer concurrent classes, both online and on ground in an eight week and 16 week format. Our concurrent courses are only $175 per class. This includes both tuition and fees for the course. Students who are interested can begin the process by completing our free application at apply.macu.edu. At Mid-America Christian University, we understand one of the top concerns of students and parents is affordability when it comes to paying for college. We offer academic, leadership, athletic, and many other scholarships. Your admissions counselor can help you apply for both internal and external scholarships. Matthew Athletics is a part of the Sooner Athletic Conference and we are NAIA Division I. We have competitive teams in men's and women's soccer, men's and women's basketball, softball, baseball, and volleyball. We take pride in our student athletes that have gone on to represent us and win in different arenas nationally. Just last month, we broke ground on the O'Brien Training Center. In this new 18,600 square foot facility, there will be new weight rooms, media room, and training rooms. This fall, Matthew launched its own varsity esports team with the state of the art gaming center with scholarships available to esports athletes. There are four different games we compete in Rocket League, League of Legends, Super Smash Bros, and Overwatch. In the student success department, they offer access to free tutoring, time management mentors, and a writing center. The student success office also helps all students in resume writing, reviewing, and preparing for interviews. The mission of MACU leads back to pouring into our students and being intentional about their development, not only academically, but personally. We accomplish this through our spiritual life activities on campus that you see on the screen. We have two large resident halls on campus where our students live, Southwest and McCutcheon Halls. Our meal plan comes with unlimited swipes, so you have no maximum on the amount of times you can visit the cafe for meals, snacks, or drinks. A top priority of MACU is to keep our students safe while they are on our campus. We do this a number of ways, but we also have our own police department who patrols campus 24 seven all year round. Laundry is also included in our fees. There are two sets of washers and dryers on every floor of the resident halls for easy access to our resident students. Student Life works with student leaders across the university to create a community where students feel seen, valued, and known. In our student leadership room, you can find interviews and meetings being held by resident assistants, resident chaplains, student government association, campus activities board, and many other campus organizations. Students can, can get involved in all of these starting their freshman year. We also host intramural sports that include sand volleyball, basketball, and flag football. 
There are three different ways you can visit us here on campus, Evangel Experience, Mackey Visit Days, and Campus Tours that you see here on your screen. Evangel Experience and Mackey Visit Days give students the opportunity to earn scholarship just for coming and hanging out with us. To sign up for one of these prospective student experiences, go to events.mackey.edu. The last way to check us out if none of these dates work for you is to schedule a general campus tour. You can schedule your tour today by going to visit.mackey.edu. Here is our general contact information to reach Mackey Admissions. I appreciate your time this evening and getting to tell you a little bit about Mid-America Christian University. I hope to see you visiting our campus soon. Thanks, Ashley. Our next institution is Crowder College. Hey guys, somehow I've lost. Can you guys see me, hear me? We can see your display, but your camera is not on. Okay, I don't know what's happened, I'm sorry. There we go. Things got weird. Sorry guys. Hi, I'm Heather. I'm a recruiter at Crowder College. Crowder is a community college at Southwest Missouri that offers over 80 degree programs and certificates. I'd like to tell you a little bit about Crowder and why it's a great college option for you to check out. So get ready for a cheesy acronym. You should come to Crowder because Crowder cares. So the C is our cost. Our cost is affordable. We don't charge out-of-state tuition, and we have lots of great scholarship opportunities. We can also help you complete the FAFSA to see if you're eligible for grant money, which will go further at Crowder because of the lower cost. Our A is academics. Uh, Crowder will provide you with the academics that you're looking for. As previously mentioned, we have over 80 academic programs and certificates. Some of our most popular programs include nursing, agriculture, vet tech, criminal justice, welding, and diesel tech. And if you're undecided on what you want to study, we have our general studies degree that covers the core classes you need and includes electives you can use to explore different programs. The general studies degree will easily transfer on to most four-year colleges where you can finish your studies. We have small class sizes and will help you meet your goal, whether that's quickly getting into the workplace or easily transferring on to finish a degree at a four-year university. The R is resources. Prater has a lot of great resources to help you succeed. If you're the first in your family to go to college or your family has moved around a lot for work, we have programs specifically for you. We also have a lot of clubs and organizations to help you get involved on campus and meet other people. One of our most popular clubs is the Crowder Aggies. Throughout the school year, the Crowder Aggies have social events, community service events, and participate in ag contests. But the highlight of the year is traveling. The Crowder Aggies often travel for a couple weeks to locations like Scotland or Hawaii and learn about the agricultural industry in that area. And fun fact, you don't have to be an agriculture major to participate. E is environment. And so Crowder has six different locations. This is to make taking classes more convenient for you. Depending on where you live in Oklahoma, our Neosho, Joplin, and Webb City campuses are probably the closest to, it, to you. And a unique thing about Crowder is that it offers housing. And, and we have housing on our Neosho campus. Most community colleges don't have housing, but we have two different housing options at our Neosho campus, apartments and a more traditional style of dorms. One of my favorite things about Crowder is what we call the Crowder family atmosphere. Teachers and staff at Crowder will be kindly and want to help you succeed. One of my favorite personal examples of the Crowder family um, experience happened to me whenever one of my students wasn't showing up in my orientation class. I knew he worked as a cashier at our local Walmart, so after work, when I went to go get my groceries, I purposely went through his line and asked him what was going on and why he was missing class. We talked a little bit about what was going on in his life, and, and next week he was in class, and he ended up passing the class. This is just a small example of how Crowder teachers and staff go above and beyond for their students. We also have a variety of sports you can get involved in or cheer on at Crowder. We have men's baseball, women's basketball, men's soccer, women's softball, and a new addition, esports. Scholarships are available for all sports, including esports. Our esports team are currently playing Fortnite, Smash Brothers, Rocket League, 
Rainbow Six Siege, FIFA, Madden, and Hearthstone. In the final reason, the S, to choose Crowder is because we will help you succeed and meet your goals, whatever they might look like. As we talked about earlier, we are a cost-effective choice. Students graduating from Crowder can more easily get a degree without going into debt. A unique benefit that Crowder offers is our Lifetime Learner Program. Once you graduate from Crowder, you can take a class every semester and not have to pay for tuition. We want to encourage you to continue to learn and grow. So in summary, why choose Crowder? Because Crowder cares. We are a cost-effective choice that will get you the high quality academics you want in a friendly environment with lots of resources to help you succeed. If you're interested in becoming a student at Crowder College, these are your next steps. First, you're going to want to complete our application at crowder.edu. Click the Apply Now button to get started. There is a $25 application fee. You might be eligible for an application waiver if you are in a TRIO program like Upward Bound or you're eligible for free and reduced lunches. Next, you're going to want to complete the FAFSA. This is open for seniors. If you need help, please contact us. We have a free resource on campus that can help you complete this sometimes difficult, difficult process. And then in February, you'll want to fill out our scholarship application at crowder.edu backslash scholarships and complete the housing application if you're wanting to live on campus. Next up is sending us your ACT scores. If you haven't taken the ACT or don't want to, that's okay. We have a free placement test that you can take on campus. Finally, you'll need to send us your official final high school transcript and any official college transcripts that you might have. Once you get those steps completed, you'll be ready to enroll for classes. At Crowder College, you get much more than an education, you get an experience. And here's my contact information. Please reach out to me if you have any questions or if you want to schedule a tour of campus. We are currently doing in-person tours and we would love to meet you. Thank you. Thanks so much, Heather. Just a reminder before we begin our final presentation that if you have any questions about the institutions you've heard about or questions for all of our panelists in general, please feel free to use the Q&A widget. And next, I'm pleased to introduce Drake University. Hello, everyone. Thank you for the introduction, Owen. My name is Tyler Kohler. I am an admission counselor here at Drake University. I look forward to speaking with you today. Drake is a private mid-sized four university located in Des Moines, Iowa. The first most important person on campus would be our live mascot, Griff Two. He is a one-year-old bulldog. As you can see, he is very adorable. And I promise when you're on campus, he's even cuter in person. And yes, he is wearing a Drake Letterman jacket. I promise you it doesn't get better than this. And you can follow him on Instagram. I, it is one of the best fouls you'll ever have in your life. Some quick facts about Drake. We have just under 3,000 undergrad students, a 10 to 1 student to faculty ratio, an average class size of 21, and none of our classes are taught by teaching assistants or graduate assistants, over 100 different undergraduate programs, 140 plus student organizations, 16 Division one sports, which all Drake students get to attend for free, 70% of our students are from out of state and we have a 98.1% accomplishment rate. And that is based on a response rate of over 97%. And so you know that number is accurate. So as I mentioned earlier, we are located in Des Moines, Iowa. We are about 10 minutes from downtown, which you can see in this picture here. It's a growing city with over 600,000 people. And we always make the joke, Des Moines, who knew? We did, there's always so many great things to do around campus. Drake Diner, the pizza picture that you see up there, all literally a block away from campus. Um, there's something for you to do, whether that's minor league sports, uh, musical, whatever it is, you can definitely find it in the city of Des Moines. So can you picture yourself at Drake? There are two ways for you to apply. Both are free. You can either apply directly through Drake or through the Common App. We don't have a preference, whatever is easiest for you. Our early action priority deadline is December 1st with our regular deadline um, as being March 1st. And we have our rolling admissions, which means we're constantly reviewing applications throughout the year. Now, when you're applying, there are two ways you can go. You can go the test score pathway. You would submit your transcript, your ACT, your SAT score, and then you can see the essay and recommendation are not required, but encouraged. Or you can go the test optional. We've been test optional for a oh, five plus years now. So instead of submitting your ACT or SAT score, you would have an interview with your admission counselor, which would be me, or you can submit an essay. And we don't have a specific 
um, Drake essay that you have to answer, you know, whatever you would like to talk about that helps us learn more about you. That's what we encourage. And then you can see the recommendation there again is not required, but encourage. And just to let you know, we are truly test optional. If you go that path, we don't need your test scores for anything, your interview or your essay would merit your decision for any merit-based scholarships, which I'll talk about in a second and your admissions decision. And there's no advantage or disadvantage in from going test score or test optional. So Drake is just over $57,000 a year for the cost of attendance. Now I know that's a big number, but don't let that number scare you. We have and offer a lot of different scholarships to help you through that. The first one I wanna mention is our presidential scholarship. Right now it's anywhere from 21 to $25,000 per year for four years. And you don't need to fill out a separate application once you are, you are applied, you're automatically considered for this award. And in the last couple of years, 100% of students who applied and were admitted before March 1st, our regular deadline, received this award. And then you can see if you're a transfer student, we also have the Presidential Transfer Scholarship as well. I also wanna mention the National Alumni Scholarship. You can see that the, the award is three to $10,000. And if you received the National Alumni, that would stack on top of your other scholarships, like the presidential one, for example. This is a separate application as, as it is one of our competitive scholarships. You need a minimum weighted GPA of 3.8 to apply or in the top 5% of your class. And then demonstrating strengths in those following areas listed also will help you um, in that application process. There are other scholarships available for certain majors and academic interests. If you need more information on those, definitely visit the URL at the bottom. I'm sure you've heard about FAFSA, but I just want to say, please fill it out. Even if you don't think you're qualified, you never know um, what you could be qualified for with, for federal financial aid. And at Drake, financial aid packages are mailed in February. We have a tuition guarantee. So whatever tuition is when you start at Drake, it will never increase in your time at Drake in your four years of your undergraduate degree. And that's really nice for you and your family as you are preparing for the next steps you're taking. And that's one last thing you have to worry about is your tuition going up. We have a few different visit options for you, either virtual and we have limited in-person visits for seniors and transfer students. So if you wanna sign up for one of those events, uh, visit drake.edu slash visit. And please connect with me. Here are my email and phone number. I'd be happy to connect with you and thank you for your time today. Great. Thank you so much. Hope you've enjoyed the presentations from all these different institutions and now we'll transition into the question and answer portion of the evening. So if all of our presenters want to, to come back, we'll get started with our first question, um, which is a great one asking when we should start getting involved in going to campuses, um, getting in touch with admission counselors and getting ready to make applications. And that's coming from a high school freshman. Um, so I don't know if anyone has anything they would like to kind of answer that question with. I think it really probably depends on your goals, where you want to go, but definitely by junior year, you should be visiting campuses and I'm talking to admission counselors, but it's never too early, even as a freshman, if you're wanting to go visit campus or talk to a counselor, any of us on here would be happy to chat with you, I'm sure. Great, thank you. Everyone else agree with Heather? Nothing too different? Perfect. Um, please. We did have another question asking about abroad programs. Um, do any of your institutions have study abroad programs? And if you'd like to talk about them, we can go in the same order as the initial presentations. Um, sure. We have uh, quite a few study abroad opportunities here. Um, at OU, you know, we have um, opportunities in over 200 cities in 80 countries. Um, you can study abroad for uh, as short as um, a 10 days uh, to as long as uh, uh, a little over a year. Um, and if you want to do programs that are within um, the University of Oklahoma program, that's great. We have lots of uh, opportunities through different institutions across the world that we also partner with where you can study there and actually pay tuition to those institutions as well while getting OU credit. So lots and lots of study abroad opportunities. Um, if there are specific places that you want to talk about, I'd be happy to talk about them with you, but um, it's, one of our, it's one, of our, uh, one of our really great things. Right now, about 60% of our student body is studying abroad. Again, it could be 10 days, but they're doing something in a different country. So here you go. I want to follow up quickly. He nailed it on the head. You can study it. A lot of institutions will let you study with other schools. So if there's a country you want to go to, I know I wanted to go to Santiago, Chile. 
So I went through another university, got a, the credit transferred over. Langston does study abroad through West Africa and the Barbados. Perfect. Anyone else have anything to add? I was going to say, we don't have Emmett Crowder, we don't have the study abroad department, um, but we do through different departments. Um, it just kind of depends on the program. There are options like that. Great. I'll quickly add, uh, we do have a lot of study abroad programs that you can attend, and we have an office that will definitely set you up for success and help you choose the right program for you and length of time. Great, thank you so much. Another question, um, which is a little more general, if someone wouldn't mind taking the answer though, is how does a student sign up for the FAFSA? Who wants to volunteer for that one? I'll take it. I think that was from Markeisha. Um, hi, Markeisha. So you can sign up for the FAFSA. It's the free application for federal student aid. You just go to fafsa.gov and I'll type that back on your question so you have the link there. Never, ever, ever pay to fill out the FAFSA. The first word in that is free. So there are some scammers out there who will try to get you to pay. So just never, ever pay for that. Definitely good advice. Another student is asking if AP scores impact being accepted into a college. Not at Langston. Not at Crowder either. Uh, the scores themselves, um, no. The class is helpful though. Yeah, I think generally they're more often used for kind of advanced standing or to get credit for courses when you actually end up at that institution, but most often aren't used in the actual admission process. All right, another question we have received is how much time should one allow for a campus tour at each of your schools? And actually, I'll add something onto that as well, and we can go in the same kind of order of, of initial presentations. But when they're on that tour, whether you're offering them now or not, what's the one thing that they need to make sure they see when they stop by your campus? Kind of where, where's your favorite spot? Um, so our campus tours typically take about two and a half hours um, from arrival till when you're probably getting back into your car. Um, and best spots, I think I'm, I think I'm contractually obligated to say the football stadium. I'm not exactly sure about that. So at Langston, you'll want to see the labs. It depends on what your major is. You want to visit with whoever's in your major. So please let us know ahead of time. Even if you don't know, this is the direction I'm thinking about going. That way we can make it more personable because all of our tours are personalized. So we're also doing virtual tours now. So now is a great time to see 70 different colleges in very little time. So check out virtual tours on our website. Dorian and um, Kyle did a great job, but uh, at MacU, there's several different tour options that you can take. A general campus tour, if you just wanted to come in the afternoon and see campus, would take about an hour and a half. However, um, we do want to make it very intentional and personal for your campus tours, which I think every institution, I see people nodding their heads, they want to do the same. So um, I heard it mentioned um, athletics. I heard major specifics. So depending on what you want to do, you really want to see if it's the labs, if you want to be a bio major or chemistry major and you want to check out the labs, that's really important. Um, so I think it's really, uh, it's, it's really your personal choice of like, this is what I really am into and this is what I want to see. And the admissions office will make that happen. Um, at Carter College, usually how things go is we have um, an hour that you walk around with the student ambassador to see campus, and then 30 minutes meeting with an admissions um, counselor to just go over the basics of admissions. And then depending on what you're wanting to do, um, sports or vet tech or um, different programs, probably another 30 minutes to an hour if you have a special program. And my favorite place on campus is probably the Bell Tower, which is right there outside, or the um, vet tech ag area because there's always like you know puppies kittens goats who knows a lot of funny animals over there
Sorry, my mouse was not working for a second. Um, at Drake, typically it's about a two hour time um, from when you come to campus and again, leave uh, campus. I would say my, and it's also very personalized, like everyone else has mentioned, you know, what kind of where you want to study, we might spend more time in that certain building if that's where the college is housed and things like that. Um, my favorite thing on campus, if it's not Griff 2, which hopefully if you're lucky, you get to see him, but it'd probably be Starbucks for me because why not have a Starbucks on campus? Thank you. Um, another student was asking, kind of sticking with the campus visit theme, when do you know if a campus is having tours of campus or, um, yeah, how would you, how would you guess, find that out? Most admissions pages should probably have it listed just on the website of like when they're available. Um, some will have forms that you can fill out and then they'll um, have like dates and times that you can choose from. But if you can't find that, um, just call, just Google, you know, whatever the college is in admissions and then call that number and they'll be able to help you. Great, thank you. There's another student asking, fairly specific, but they're torn between computer science and accounting. Does anyone have any advice for students who kind of have these different interests and are, are considering different fields? I mean, both have a lot of math, so your, your first year should look similar either way, at least at Langston. I agree, Kyle. Um, I would say one thing that you could do is um, if the campus is allowing for you to sit in classes or to be a part of a classroom lecture in any way, whether it's virtually or on campus, to sit in one of those classes. Um, if not, then to speak with that faculty advisor or professor from that teaches one of those courses. I would also say try to shadow some people that actually work in that job and or, and or talk to them. But also just go with your passion, whichever one you can see yourself getting up every day and having fun doing, that's the one that you should choose. And if you're really going for it, just double major. It's always a possibility. Perfect. Great. Thank you. Um, there's a few more questions there, which we can return to in just a moment if anyone particularly wants to, to jump on any of them, but feel free to, to take a look. But before we kind of get to our last question, I do want to say thank you to everyone for joining us. Um, when we do finish this webinar, there will be a link to a quick four question survey and we'd appreciate any feedback that you provide. Also, just a reminder that there's many more sessions this evening and in the coming days, so be sure to sign up for additional ones. And if you're looking for a recording of this session, it'll be available on the same website where you initially registered for this one. So are there any questions that anyone's particularly excited about jumping on? All right. Well, take the last one then um, and we'll go with what is one um, tradition at your school that you think a, a student should know about at Langston it's when you first matriculate as a freshman at the end of lion camp uh, you do a walk of uh, you walk do a paw walk and you chant basically failure is not an option for me. It gives a lot of morale boost to a lot of first generation students. Um, a special one at OU is we have convocation uh, for incoming freshmen in the same place we have commencement for our graduating seniors. Um, the ceremony itself actually feels relatively similar um, in scope and feel and all of the in, uh, freshman instructors are actually there, you know, kind of um, as support. And um, it's just a really, really special moment. So if you end up coming to OU, look forward to convocation at the beginning of the, uh, before your freshman year begins. I would have to say um, my favorite tradition at the Mackey campus is called Cider Fest. And so that's sort of our, um, fall like it typically happens around fall break and it's completely student led by our campus activities board and put on but typically it's outside there's pumpkin carving there's a live band um it's just really i mean i love it uh faculty and staff come to it as well so we have it on the quad and it's just a good time for everybody a lot of flannel <laughs> 
I'm glad Ashley went food related because that's what I'm doing too. Um, every year we have uh, the Baptist Student Union puts on pie day and it's real simple, just a bunch of pies and anyone can come get a piece and um, just a fun time of chatting and eating pie. At Drake, we have Painted Street, which happens in, uh, during Drake Relays in April. And it's a basically every, like a lot of students already get to paint a section of their own design on a main sidewalk on Drake's campus. And then it eventually turns into a giant paint fight. And usually professors and staff are there. So you get to throw paint at them, which could be exciting for you. Those all sound like some great traditions. Um, thank you to everyone um, for tuning into this as well as to our panelists. Um, we appreciate you giving up some of your time and hope you have a great evening.